Hey, Terry. Hold on, hot shot. Here we go. Time since last night? Well, listen, if he comes in, tell him to get his carcass over here to the field. We're supposed to be taking off of the mail. Thanks. You try the Busy Bird Man's Club? Tried it half an hour ago. What's the number for Wang Wang's gambling joint? 4 1. 4 1. Say, Angel Face, do you have any idea where Chaz might be? He got paid yesterday. Could be any place where one spends money. Hello, Wang Wangs. Is Hotshot Charlie there? Hotshot. Charles C. Charles, pilot for Air Cathay Lines. Has been in all night, huh? OK, thanks. Why so anxious about Charles? I tell you, Chopstick won't care if you fly the mail alone. Hey, by the way, where is Blubber Boy? He's gone in the city to see a lady. Beautiful lady. So, my friend Chopstick Joe needs money again. You wish to do business with me? When Chopstick Joe and the Dragon Lady have business dealings, the word business sounds positively delicious. You do not have to use buttered words, my friend. I know you. I trust you as far as a tombstone can be thrown. You've changed the incense in this room. The new aroma enhances your beauty. My overstuffed friend, that is sweet talk. I take it one of my flyboys has been giving you lessons in the American vernacular. Terry Lee, perhaps? No, I have not seen your golden-haired Terry for some time now. How much will you pay me for the Dutch diamonds? For the beautiful Dutch diamonds. My client is willing to pay $20,000. For once, you start with a fair price. $25,000, and it is agreed. That's too steep. The reward is no greater than the risk. But 25 geez. Your commission will be that much more. I trust you are getting a commission? Oh, of course. The more money my client pays, the more I get. OK, it's a deal. When can you deliver? Do you suppose I would be foolish enough to tell you? I might find my apartment mysteriously ransacked. My dear dragon lady, you are so suspicious. You do not think that I would. Oh. Perhaps the diamonds will be delivered within the next few days? Flown in on my airline, maybe. Come here on Saturday, and I shall deliver the Dutch diamonds. Also, drink the money. The cool green for the hot ice. A fair exchange. Show this individual out. Be sure to see him to the street. Then lock the door securely after he has gone. Remember, Dragon Lady, confidence is the keynote. I prefer your banknote, my dear chopstick. Celestial Tea Shop? Charles C. Charles doesn't happen to be there, does he? I thought not. Thanks. You can fly the mail to Hai Fung alone. Regulations say the mail must be accompanied by two men. You know that. You know, I know. Chopstick, he don't know. Oh, I wonder where that romping Romeo could be. Hello, 26. Burma speaking. Hello, Terry. Hotshot? Why, uh, no, darling, I haven't seen him. Will do. Oh, for that I could kiss you. 
That's not why I did it. Now, why did you come knocking at my door? Trouble? Up to here. I spent all night at Wang Wang's. Win, lose, or draw? My luck was even. All bad. I mortgaged myself into the next generation. One lump or two? Lumps. That's what I deserve. I not only lost a month's pay, but I blew $600 to boot. Maybe you're lucky at that if it kills your credit. Please, no flippancy. Guys have been rubbed out for less. Wang Wang intimated that if I didn't pay up... I know, you'd never live it down. Live, period, exclamation point. Well, you can cry on Burma's shoulders, but that's all I can do for you. Well, uh, I was hoping maybe you could help me out temporarily. I'm sorry, pilot. This month, I eat off this wrist. Last month, I ate off this one. Looks like a cold winter. Uh, let me know if you run into any oil wells. Terry's in a sweat. You'd better hurry. Sure. Thanks again. Chops, why do you pay your flyers off all at the same time? When I get, they got. There's not one of them in condition to fly the morning after payday. Where are the tempo fly boys? I'm supposed to have a co-pilot on the mail run. Oh. Where's Hutchat? Who knows? Relax, Terry. I had a cousin in Hong Kong once. Had a violent temper. He died from sheer anger. Is there any place in China you don't have a cousin? They pop up like weeds all over the place. We're a very large family. I had a widely traveled grandparent. Terry, don't worry about not having co-pilot. No one will notice slight uh, bend in regulations. Now listen, you pirate. If you fracture regulations on any hop, skip, and jump flight I happen to be on, I'll bounce a mailbag off your head. What's with him? He doesn't like the telephone service. Huh. Much uh, mail today, Angel Face? Pretty much. Do you ever stop to think of the many dramas contained in one sack of mail? Comedy, drama, tragedy, adventure, intrigue, money, diamonds. Chopstick Joe is in philosophic mood. In an expectant mood. for the six Dutch diamonds. Good. And what's that about roosters? Roosters have gizzards, which retain anything hard and undigestible. And she wants a... Uh, Two fighting roosters addressed to her in the mail. We feed the six Dutch diamonds to the roosters, which they will carry safely in their gizzards to the dragon lady. Uh-huh. But aren't we taking chances with hijackers in such a procedure? No one will suspect the feathered fowl. Come, we will locate them at once. Uh, this tube is loose. It'll take a moment to repair. I'll join you downstairs. Not be long. In an expectant mood. Terry, better late than never. Well, talk to me, boy. Where have you been? Don't raise your voice. I can't stand the din. Called every dive in town. Where were you? Wang Wang's. They said you weren't there. I told them to tell you that. I was trying to win back my money. How much was that? Old Chaz not only lost a month's pay, but left behind an IOU for 600 bucks. Oh, great. How do you expect to pay back $600? Come to think of it, that could be a headache. I was just going in and lose a few bucks or less. Yeah. Expensive sense of humor. I was ahead there once. Four bucks. But after that, they slipped the dice on Mickey. Well, get your clothes on. The plane's already warmed up. We've got to make up a half an hour in the air. Okay, okay. Yikes, the joint's haunted. The dragon lady. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Surprised to see me, my golden-haired one? Well, uh, you're kind of off the home base, aren't you? I realize I'm not exactly dressed to grace the inside of a gentleman's quarters. 
I have come to ask a favor of you. Do you think I carry concealed weapons, Terry? We haven't much time. Chaz and I are late now. We're carrying the mail to High Farm. And you will also bring it back. That's the problem? I am expecting something in the mail from High Farm. I want to be sure that I get it. Oh, what is it? A couple of roosters. Roosters? I am having them mailed to me in a crate. The favor I am asking is that you take particular care and to protect them all the way. We fly it, we can take care of it. This is important. They must not go through Chopstick Joe's office. They must be brought directly to me from the plane. That's against regulations. They'll have to go through the office. But they'll be addressed to me. Put the roosters in a jeep the moment you land. Do not take them to Chopstick Joe's office. You will do this just once for me. No can do, D.L. I don't make the regulations, I just fly them. I, I couldn't do that for my best girl. You don't have to throw it at me. I am dreadfully sorry, my golden-haired one. I was carried away. Forgive me. Oh, sure. Some night we must get together and throw darts at each other. Very well. I shall make you a business proposition. Five hundred dollars if you do what I ask. Five hundred dollars just to deliver two roosters? This is my latest whim. The dragon lady likes to indulge herself. That I know. The answer? No. Come on, Chaz, we're late already. Hey, I, uh, I mean, D.L., are you on the level of about the 500 clams? Clams? Dollars, lady, dollars. Well? Would you make it 600? Perhaps. You will see that Mr. Lee delivers them to me? I'll do it. Guard them with extreme caution and have them delivered to me immediately upon your landing. Lady, for 600 bucks, I'll fly him into your arms. Those skinny roosters back there, they don't look like they're worth that much dough, do they? Might be a couple of prize fighters. Some people will bet on anything. Sucker born every minute. Which reminds me, uh, what did you bet on last night? The wrong numbers. Now, funny thing, the drag lady wanting to pay $500 just to sneak those roosters to her. Worth the weight in feathers. That dragon lady's a pretty fancy load of freight. I wish she'd rev up to me the way she does to you. My compliments. Terry, chum, you look tired. Would you like me to take over? Tired? Me tired? You've been catnapping all the whole trip. <sighs> uh, where are we? Uh, about a half hour from home. <sighs> I guess I am tired. Well, uh, maybe you'd like to catch a few quick winks after we get in. Well, I might at that. Well, I tell you what, uh, I'll take care of the mail after we land and you won't have to bother. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing by that door? Closed door. A rooster fall out. What's up, Chaz? Rooster's at 7 o'clock. Who in blazes are you? Um, I'm Aki. Keep talking. Hotshot, what's happening? We got a stowaway. That's right, me stowaway. What's the big idea, Buster, dropping those roosters off the plane? Oh, me no drop. A rooster will fall out. Fall out? You push them out. For Pete's sake, what's going on back there? Where were you hiding? In there. Uh, me stole away. That's right, me stole away. We'll stole away you. Come on, get up front. Look what we have in our hair. Who's this? My name Aki. Me stole away. He pushed the crate of roosters overboard with a parachute tied on. Holy smoke. No wonder the dragon lady was willing to pay $500 for safe delivery. 600 bucks. What? Big plane. Fly. All the same bird. Good. 
then we heard a noise, and this character appears and pushes the crate off the plane. Me not push. Roosters fall out. With a parachute tied on. Me stowaway. And it's against government regulations for passengers or stowaways to ride the mail run. Right, Terry. You broke regulations. Do you know that? Stowing away. Not paying your passenger fare. Tempering with the mails. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a disgrace to your ancestors. You're a dope. Good work, Terry, apprehending this criminal. I'll turn him over to the gendarmes. Well, what about the roosters? Oh, I'll reimburse the dragon lady for them. Only a couple bucks apiece. You flyboys might as well go. I'll take care of this hoodlum. Well, he certainly went to a lot of trouble just to push two roosters off the plane. Don't worry, Terry. The gendarmes will take care of him. No one must break regulations. Make up a Terry. Chopstick Joe. That old bandit's probably behind this. Bob Key's probably one of his cousins. Look, Terry, I've got to make a phone call. Will you get our bags off the plane? Sure. See you at the quarters. My cousin. My cousin, our Key. But you did a bad thing. You got caught. Well, uh, not exactly, DL. I mean, the crate was pushed off the plane by a stowaway, and I... Stowaway? What are you trying to do? I have a contract with you, and unless you produce those roosters, I shall be inclined to believe you are double-crossing me. Double-cross? What? Who? I shall be at the field immediately. You had better produce those birds, or I shall see that you never fly again. Here it keeps getting heavier all the time. What now, landing boy? Terry, we gotta find those roosters. Why, we did all we could. I didn't. I mean, I made a deal with the dragon lady to deliver them to her. Deal? Uh-huh. Six hundred bucks worth. I know I'm a knucklehead and you gotta punch my fat face, but it was the only way I could figure to pay off my gambling debt. So that's why you were sweet-talking me, so you could handle the mail, huh? Yeah. Just called her and broke the news. No doubt she was very understanding. Oh, sure. Like a nice, quiet explosion. You gotta help me, chum. Let's make a stab at finding them. We know where they went down. Now, hold on. We're traveling pretty wide. All this fuss and money about a couple of chickens. Roosters, fighting roosters. They're as big a sport here as baseball and bullfighting are elsewhere. I mean, Chops and the Dragon Lady. If they figure with a couple of roosters and it's dollars to donuts, it's more than the roosters would figure. They're two of the sharpest guesses in the business, if it's shady, that is. Why should we care if they cut each other's throats? It's just that I need the 600. Say, throats. Speaking of throats, isn't there something about a chicken's gizzard that holds hard, indigestible things? Could be. I'm no expert on Hi, Jackie. Okay. No. No, it's no good. What now? Well, if it's hijacking, how would Aki know exactly where to toss the crate off the plane? You mean he couldn't tell where it would land? Chops and that dragon lady would have to send out dozens of men to scour the countryside trying to locate it even after it landed. Even then, somebody else might get to it first. Meaning it was too much of a long shot for such valuable merchandise. Sure. Maybe the box was a decoy. Aki wanted to get caught by us, maybe to throw us off. Uh, maybe the real crate never even left the plane. But the ground crew would have noticed. Unless you figure the dragon lady paid him to look the other way. It'd be a lot simpler to figure Chops. He could have wired Haifong in the QT, not to let us in on any part of the scheme. Somebody's crossing somebody. Yeah. Let's check that plane before it's all unloaded, huh? Did you find what you're looking for, Angel Face? Top Flake asked me to look for some roosters. He knew they were dumped off the plane by Aki. He says, find Birdie, they're on board. Guess you were right, Terry. It was a decoy crate. But they're not in the plane, are they? I look plane over, top to bottom, no Birdie. Chops must know something. So they must be in something. Six pair of eyes better than two. Yeah, you're right. Let's take a look. No soap. No roosters. No angel face. Boss man could be very angry if I come back empty-handed. 
If the dragon lady's sore because I didn't bring them in, and shops expect some in, but they're not here, where are they and who has them? Who's on first, huh? Let's go back to quarters. When I'm going to tell Chop. Next time, tell him to fly elephants. Nobody ever hijacked one yet. No simple Simon act this trip. I wanted the rooster. We have ascertained that astounding fact. I was employed by a dragon lady to get a certain commodity. Then I contacted Chopstick, who offered me more to deliver directly to him. And you double-crossed him and put the roosters in our bags, huh? Yes. And now we three can deliver to the one buyer who is interested in the Dutch diamonds. Diamonds? We three? Oh, no, my double-double-crossing friend. First the dragon lady, then Chops, and now us, huh? Over there, face down. Chaz, get something to climb up with. I'm putting these roosters in the duffel bag. Diamonds. Shall we deliver to the dragon lady? We deliver. You promised her. As far as I know, no laws are broken. Right you are, Terence, my lad. You slimy porpoise. This is a pure case of piracy. Where are those fighting roosters? One moment, dragon lady. Airplane door was open. Poor little helpless creatures. Fall out. I ought to gouge your eyes out. Neither rain, wind, sleet, or hijackers can keep these couriers from their appointed rounds. They're your roosters, D.L. I knew you could be depended upon, Mr. Lee. Uh, remember me? I'm the guy you made the deal with. Yes, and I was very worried. No extra charge for suspense. Take the bags out. Where do I sign for my mail, Chopstick Joe? Right here. We have a business appointment tomorrow. You will be there? Oh, sure thing. And I'll bring my client. <coughs> oh, yes. Uh, we made a bargain, didn't we, Mr. Charles? Will this do? Why, I owe you for the 600 bucks. How'd you get it? I have ways. Thank you again, Mr. Lee. You must come up for dinner. Sure thing. When? And what are you having? After tomorrow, barbecued rooster. For me, cooked goose. Leave it to you guys to come busting in. Next time, don't be so cagey and cut us in. Cut you in? Cut you up, you mean? Hey, what happened to our key? Where is he? Oh, I called the gendarmes. He's safely locked up. In our barracks. You heard right, Chopsy. You didn't call the cops because you two are in cahoots. Aki was crossing you while you two were crossing the dragon lady. We hid the roosters in our duffel bags. And when it's pitch black, roosters keep their mouths shut. Aki would not. He would. He did. Of all the... Wait. I'll cut off his ears. I'll pull out his tongue. I'll jab him with needles. Of all the low-down double crossing... Chopstick, you're speaking about a relative. A relative? Yes, we have a great mutual aunt in Sing Fu section. We? Yes, our key's mother's mother and my mother's mother's were cousins. Chopstick, cousin to my mother and our key's mother. We three are cousins, twice removed. You see, Chum's family tree, extremely simple. On honorable mother's side, elder brother married to distant relative by marriage of second cousin to distant relative's husband's uncle. Therefore, on honorable father's side, the branch of tree bends to point... Very simple. Quiet, coming, Bob. Quiet. Chops is composing a literary masterpiece. Joy Ken. What did he say, Terry? Can you understand his dialect? He said, see you again. When illustrious friends... Tang Hop. Gather for... Tengu Jai. Further exciting adventures of... Further exciting adventures of... Terry and, and the Pirates! Be with...
with us again the next time we take off with Terry and the Pirates in another exciting high-altitude adventure.